Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial video. It has been a while since I last posted a tutorial video on this channel, but today we are back and this time we're going to be taking a look at how to install add-ons for the Elder Scrolls Online. So it's a relatively simple process. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to this website here. It is minion.mmoui.com and we are going to be using the Minion add-on manager to install these add-ons. I am also going to show off how to install them manually as well. So keep that in mind but to get started we're going to hit download and we're going to get the version that corresponds with your computer so i am using 64-bit windows so i have gone ahead and downloaded that already as you can see here uh, and we're going to walk through the install process so first step run the program it'll ask you if you want to install minion of course we do so we'll click next we'll decide where it wants to install it and we can overwrite that because I already had it installed. Uh, we have to select the start menu folder as well. Click install, relatively simple process. And uh, yeah, that will get us started. So Minion is generally the best bet. You can use other programs as well to install add-ons. So you can use things like the Twitch app and you can also use things like Nexus Mod Manager. However, in my experience and most people's experience that I've spoken to, Minion seems to be the best way to do it. And there's a few reasons for it, but I'll show you in just a second. So now that our installation has completed, all we need to do is hit launch Minion click next and then it's going to give us an option to select where our add-ons are first thing to do make sure the program is up to date so we'll do that now let it reboot um, so a word of forewarning you do need to have run the elder scrolls online at least once beforehand so that it can detect the settings um, and you'll see why in just a second so once we reboot minion after having it updated uh, it will scan it would like to scan the computer for the following games so it's got elder scrolls online and world of warcraft we don't need to check for world of warcraft so we're only going to select elder scrolls online and then you can scan the following drives uh, generally i just let it do its thing um, you don't have to but that's that's the thing that i do and uh, this can take a while depending on how many drives you have and so on and so forth um, but eventually it will detect the, the application what we're going to need to do is in our documents folder there is going to be a folder here called elder scrolls online and inside that you're going to have one of two folders you're either going to have live or you're going to have live and live eu and those correspond to the server that you play on so if you play on na it should say live if you play on eu it should say live eu however if you've only played on one of those servers it will normally just show one folder so you know which one it is so if your add-ons don't show up one thing to try is try installing them into the other folder and i'll show you how we can do that in a second um, but inside the live folder, we have an add-ons folder and inside that is where your add-ons are going to be installed. So this is going to be what Minion handles for you, uh, but that is also how you manually install uh, add-ons. So what I'm going to do is as soon as Minion has figured out where my folders are, I will come right back and we can continue where we left off. OK, guys, so we are back and now Minion has finally found our install location for where our add-ons go. Um, if you have any issues with that, what I recommend you doing is coming over here to the plus icon. So close Minion down if it's still getting stuck on the loading, close it down, load it back up again and deselect all the automatic scanning for the drives. Then it will just give you a blank box. You can come over here, click add, click the account, locate the folder that you need. Uh, and it might not show anything, so just close Minion down again, reopen it, and it should show you this screen where it has Elder Scrolls Online, and that's all it's showing. So this is where Minion really, really shines. So what you can do is now that I've got that selected, I can go find more over here, uh, and it will allow me to search for add-ons via the website ESOUI, which is the main kind of location to find add-ons for Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, it's got all different sorts of things and minion has actual compatibility for that website so all of the add-ons you can find on eso ui can be found via minions menus which is super awesome so if we maximize this uh, you can sort by various things and all the different categories as well um, i'm going to show you a specific uh, mod or add-on that we're going to install and that is going to be Dustman. So what Dustman does, if you click on it, it gives you a description and gives you some screenshots and things like that. 
Uh, Dustman basically allows you to junk uh, trash items straight away. So you have this installed. Everything that is considered a trash item will be marked as junk. And then as soon as you speak to a vendor, it will automatically pop up with a UI option saying, do you want to trash all of your junk items? Uh, so that's what we're going to install. And the process is literally as simple as clicking install. It downloads, it installs, and that's it. That's all there is to it. It does have a very handy update all button as well. So once you've got all your add-ons, if a new patch comes out for any of them, you can just hit that button and it'll update them all one after the other, which is super awesome. So now that we've got that installed, okay, we should be able to find that inside our add-on directory, as you can see here. So now we have Dustman, we have it in this folder. So if we do another example, so let's say we go for the Sky Shards, add-on we're going to hit download hit install as you can see it's there and there it is in that folder so as you can see it does a really good job of handling that uh, you can also right click this and uninstall and it will tell you do you want to delete this add-on uh, deleting saved variables basically removes any of the settings the add-on saves uh, so i'm going to say yes hit delete and as you can see it's gone so now that we've got that installed like so i'm going to show you how to install it via minion so if we uninstall this from Minion and we delete our saved variables, I will show you how to install them manually. So if you head over to esoui.com, uh, you'll be able to find a list of all the add-ons. I've already got Dustman open here. As you can see, it gives you the same description. Uh, you come over here and hit the download button and that will automatically download a zip file for you. You can open that up and you see the list here. So. You now have Dustman in here. Double check, if you see things like XML files and Lua files, that means that's the actual uh, add-on itself. So you need to go back one folder, drag that over, and there you go. You've installed Dustman. Now, in theory, because uh, we have Minion open, uh, this won't have updated our list. So if we close this and reopen it, we should see... Once we do that, once we do that, it loads through our folders. You can see that the add-on does show up. So even if you locally install add-ons, so you manually install add-ons, they can be updated by Minion. You might just have to restart it. So now that we've got our add-on installed, let's go into the game so I can show you how to actually activate them. So see you in just a second. Okay guys, so here we are, we have the game loaded and we are on the character selection menu. So now all we have to do is head over to the add-ons section here. You may have to accept a, um, you know, a message saying, you know, do you accept responsibility for what goes on here? Um, because obviously add-ons do have access to certain things, but you, nothing to worry about really. Um, so we have two things here that we need to keep track of. So we have allow out of date add-ons. So some add-ons don't get automatically updated when uh, the game does. So that basically allows add-ons that will still work on the new versions, but just don't have a, a version specific for the new update uh, to work. Um, but all we have to do is come over here and click check and that will enable the add-on. And as you can see there, it tells you what you need. You can do character specific add-ons as well. So if you have like a vampire for instance you want certain add-ons for you can do that and then you can swap over to a different character and have different ones um, inside the settings once you load into a character you will have an add-on specific menu as well so you can change the add-on specific options when you get in game uh, so let's go and do that. So bear with me one second and we'll take a look at those options menu. Okay guys, so here we are inside the game and uh, now what we can do is we can go over to settings and you'll see there's now an add-ons section and what that does is it gives you all of the settings for the add-on we've just installed. So as you can see we now have Dustman listed and we can go through and modify all of the settings here and that's super awesome. Uh, sometimes you may get an add-on that has its own key binding section uh, that can show up here under controls as well but generally it's going to be under this uh, add-on 
add-ons option in the settings. So that's how you can customize your settings for your add-ons as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you have to do to install it. So I hope you guys found that very helpful. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, if you liked the video, please do leave a comment. Uh, if you have any issues, try posting in the comment in the description area down below the comments of comment section that's the one uh, if you've got any problems and hopefully either i can help you or someone else in the comment section can help you as well links to all of these websites are going to be in the description as well so you won't have to worry about not being able to find them uh, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that one and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video i am hoping to do a video on my favorite add-ons for ESO as well. So if you are interested in seeing what my favorites are, keep an eye out for that video. It should be coming soon. But for now, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.